Algebra is easy, part one, page six, subtracting negative numbers. So first things first, we're gonna be treating minus and negative in the same way. So what I mean by that is if we say four minus three or four plus negative three, these are the same problem. Subtracting three and adding negative three is the same thing. So four minus three is one. If we apply our previous rule, same sign, add, different sign, subtract, here we have a four and then a minus three or negative three. Those are different signs. This is positive, this is negative. Positive four, negative three. So we subtract them, four minus three is one. The larger number is positive, so the answer is positive. If we look at this example here, four plus negative three, again, they're different signs. The four is positive, the three is negative. So we subtract four minus three is one, and again, the larger number is positive, so the answer is positive one. So, if you see a minus sign next to a negative sign, they both become positive. Sometimes teachers refer to this as the slash and dash method. Um, basically what happens is you turn these both into positives. So, for example, uh, num or, uh, example A, 3 minus negative 2 is the same as 3 plus positive 2. And if we think about this, um, if we're at 3 on the number line, and it tells us to minus, that means we're going that way, but if it's another minus, that's the opposite. So we'd have to go back in the opposite direction, taking us back into the positive direction. So 3 minus negative two is gonna take us back this way. These two minuses negate each other and end up being positive. So you just need to remember that anytime you see a minus negative, they become plus positive automatically. So three minus negative two is the same as three plus positive two, which is just three plus two. That equals positive five. So three minus negative two Three minus negative two equals positive five because these both turn into plus signs. Okay, example B. Same situation here. Four minus negative eight, those both become positive, which is four plus eight, which equals positive 12. So four minus negative eight plus plus equals 12. All right, example C. What if the first number is negative followed by another negative? So before we had a positive number, four minus negative. Now we have negative seven minus negative. So what we're gonna do here is we still have to turn these two minus negative into positive plus positive. So the negative seven stays the same, still there, but now it's plus positive three, just like we did up in these two examples here. So still the same principle, that negative seven just remains negative. Now we can simplify this instead of having these two positive signs. We can say this is the same as negative seven plus three. So now we evaluate negative seven plus three. These are different signs. So we have to subtract. This is the rule from the adding negative numbers. Same sign add, different sign subtract. So negative seven and positive three, they're different signs, we subtract them. 7 minus 3 is 4. The answer is going to be negative, though, because the larger number, 7, was negative over here. Larger number is negative, so the answer is negative 4. So just to rework that out here, if we have negative 7 minus negative 3, this becomes plus positive, so we rewrite it as negative 7 plus 3. And these are different signs, so we subtract them. Seven minus three is four. The larger number is negative, so my answer is negative four. Okay, example D is another one just like this. So we have negative eight minus negative 20. So this is the same as, of course, right here, this minus negative becomes plus positive, which is just the same as negative eight plus 20. Negative eight plus 20, these are different signs, so we subtract. 20 minus eight, always the larger minus the smaller is 12, and the answer is going to be positive because the larger number 20 is positive. So 
positive 12 is our answer. Really quickly, let's go through it one more time. So this becomes plus positive, negative 8 plus 20. We subtract, 20 minus 8 is 12. The larger number is positive, so it's positive 12 for our answer. Okay, example E. What if the first number is negative, then just minus another number? We don't have minus negative, it's just minus. So we go back to our previous rule. If it's the same sign, we add them together. These are negative and minus are the same. We're treating them the same. So I have a negative 6 and a negative 5 is essentially what's going on here. So negative 6 and negative 5 will come together to make a larger negative. So because the signs are the same, we add them. Same sign, add. 6 plus 5 is 11. And the answer, of course, is negative because both numbers were negative. We're adding two negative numbers to make a larger negative. So the answer is negative 11. Okay. Continuing on here. So these are the examples we just went through. Again, now let's look at F, G, and H. So here we have 8 minus negative 5. So these immediately become plus signs automatically. So that's just 8 plus 5, which we know is 13. Both numbers are positive now. 8 and 5 are both positive, so naturally our answer is also going to be positive. So 13 is our answer here. G, negative 7 minus negative 4. So we turn these both into positives. So it's really negative 7 plus 4. These are different signs, so we subtract them. 7 minus 4 is 3. The larger number is negative, so our answer is going to be negative 3. H, negative 15 minus 9. So this is similar to this problem up here, part E. These are both the same sign. We have a negative 15 and a negative 9, or a minus 15 minus 9. So we add them together. 15 plus 9 is 21. And because we're adding two negative numbers, they make a larger negative number. So our answer is negative 21. Okay, awesome. So let's keep going and take a look at practice problems. Okay, so subtracting negative numbers practice. This is page 7 of the book. Negative 5 minus negative 8. These immediately become plus positive, so I'm going to rewrite this as minus or negative 5 plus 8. Now these are different signs, so I'm going to subtract. So 8 minus 5 equals 3. My larger number is positive, so my answer is positive 3. Number 2, negative 4 minus 9. Negative 4 minus 9, those are the same sign. So I'm going to add them. 9 plus 4 equals 13. And because I'm adding two negatives, it's going to make a larger negative. So negative 13 is the answer for number 2. Number 3, 12 minus negative 19. This is really just 12 plus positive 19, or just 12 plus 19. If we add those two together, that just equals positive 31. No more negatives are involved. Number four, negative 20 minus negative 30. So plus positive, negative 20 plus 30. So these are different signs, so I have to subtract. 30 minus 20 equals 10. My larger number is positive, so my answer is positive. Number five, 18 minus negative 18. Minus negative becomes plus positive, so now we're just adding 18 plus 18, which equals positive 36. Number six, zero minus negative six. Minus negative becomes plus positive. Zero plus six equals six. Number seven, negative 8 minus 10. So negative 8, negative 10, or minus 8 minus 10. Same thing, we're going to treat them the same way as the same sign. 
So because this is the same sign, we add 10 plus 8 equals 18. And we're adding two negative numbers. So this equals a larger negative number, negative 18. Number 8. Negative 2 minus negative 9. This becomes plus positive. So negative 2 plus 9. Now these are different signs, so we subtract. 9 minus 2 equals 7. The larger number is positive, so my answer is positive 7. Number 9. Negative 1 minus 6. So we have a minus and a minus. Same sign, add. 6 plus 1 equals 7. And because we're adding two negatives, they make a larger negative number, negative 7. Number 10. 15 minus negative 11. Minus negative becomes plus positive. 15 plus 11 equals positive 26. Number 11. Negative 10 minus negative 20. Minus negative becomes plus positive. Negative 10 plus 20 is now what we're doing. So this is different signs, so we subtract. 20 minus 10 equals 10. And the larger number is positive, so my answer is positive 10. You don't have to put these positive signs in front. I'm just doing that to reemphasize its positiveness. All right, um, number 12. 13 minus negative 13 minus negative. So we really just got 13 plus 13, which equals 26. 0 minus negative 8 plus positive. 0 plus 8 equals 8. Number 14. Negative 4 minus 16. Negative, negative, or minus, minus, same sign. Add. 4 plus 16 equals 20. And these are both negatives, so we make a larger negative answer. Negative 20. And if you have the book, the answers are explained in detail here below, the practice answers for further explanation. All right, next topic, page 8, and our next video is going to be so sorry, multiplying and dividing numbers and variables.